Hello my gorgeous Pisceans. How are you? Welcome to my channel. This is Mary with Mystic Wisdom Tarot. We're going to look at the energy oracle for what is coming up for you in August 2021 in love, life path, and what spirit guides may want you to know. So let's get right to it. Oh, look at the moon there, baby. <laughs> and today if you watch this today we're in a Pisces moon so make a wish take a break don't be too serious be fun everything uh, will work out so but this reading is for August the energies for August what you need to know angels and guides of the collective Pisceans what are the energy oracles want to say ah oh, a man holding a heart you know, because we got the good, the bad, the ugly in here, but this is looking pretty um, beautiful. Somebody has a crush on you. Somebody's holding some love for you. I think he's a little concerned, though. There looks like a little concern on his face. So vice versa, you can switch this up. Male, female, divine masculine, divine feminine. Angels and guides, what is the energy? Oh, journey, journey. You could be going on a journey. I feel like you're letting go of some baggage of the past. Yeah, hostilities. That's what I was feeling. Like you're letting go of hostile people, people that no longer serve you. I see this man holding that sword of truth. I feel Joan of Arc's energy there is like, don't persecute me, man what I do. You're standing up for yourself for this journey that you want to take in love. Yeah, the angels are walking, watching over you and I feel their adjacent possibilities uh, that you hadn't thought of on this journey. I see all those signs there and there's the door to value and strategy. Yes, so there's, there's a new strategy that you may need to put in place, Pisces, to reach this love that you want, adjacent possibilities, maybe adjacent people. Um, but I'm noticing, and I never really noticed this, all the when she's on this bridge. Let's look at this a little closer, you guys. It's like she's holding her dreams. <gasps> I feel like she's holding this light, looking forward on the path, but yet holding this light in the behind her, hoping that someone will find her. Hmm, never said this before. So this is interesting. She's on a path looking for love, letting go of the past hostilities, seeing her truth and value. And as I see Venus in Virgo, which is Virgo's very clean things up, clear things away, she's taking less baggage on this journey, she or he, Okay, looking at new doors and opportunities and possibilities of where to go and how to meet this person or how to reconnect with this person. And I feel that the angel of love has your back. You know, there, there's only love. So, you know, love is real. Open your heart. Let go of any persecution, which Joan of Arc would say. Um, on the bottom of this deck, so close. Something is so close. This is going to bring you the door to value, whatever that means for you. I feel like you put a lot of abundance into this new journey, but it's gonna, it's gonna, you're going to reap the rewards from um, your dedication, collaboration. Beautiful, beautiful. Put that over there next to the door to value. So we're going to jump into these beauty tarot. If you have any questions or would like a private reading, all my information is below. I do private readings regarding your love life, life path, business, children, whatever you need. I'm going to do all these upright. Page of Wands. So there's a message, news, enthusiasm, free spirit, new passion, a spark, discovery. Yeah, I feel like you're like, yes, this is Leo season. It's time. The sun is happiest in Leo. Okay, you've defended yourself and you're going to continue to defend yourself. You're a human being. You can do that. You can set boundaries. 
You know, you stand your ground. This is who I am. If you can't handle it, then it's time for you to take the journey or move on because I don't need any wimps or whiners on my trip. I don't think I've ever said that. Well, I might be thinking of a Piscean right now, I know. Maybe that's why. All right, what else do my Pisceans need to know for the energies of August 2021 when it comes to love, life path, and this journey? Whoa, ho, baby. Hi, I've been really talking about that sword. Ace of Swords and the Ten of Cups together. Oh, I'm a Pisces moon, so, you know, you're having a breakthrough. You're having a victory. Mental clarity communication, new ideas, st strength, and there's some big satisfaction. There's a really beautiful, harmonious relationship coming into you. Ten of Cups. Control your emotions, but I feel that there is an emotional compatibility between you two. You'll be able to understand their emotions, and it's almost like when one of you is emotional, the other one is more of the thinker and vice versa. So very compatible. It's like that missing puzzle piece in your life. Beautiful for more, my beautiful angels and guides. I call in Saint Germain. I call in Archangel Michael, Ariel, all my spirit guides and angels to bless this reading for my beautiful Pisceans. Three of Cups. Woohoo! In this situation, it is a celebration, a collaboration, a party. Happiness, friendship, finding your tribe, your true tribe. Who can you love and talk to? You know, I know a lot of times it's my sisters. You know, they'll tell me the truth when I need to hear the truth, but they'll love me unconditionally. And that's what you're looking for, that unconditional love that balance, that person that knows your soul. Mm hmm Sorry. Friendship first. Why do we have uh, three more cards for Pisces in love? Ooh, look at that. The Nine of Wands. See, this is why you've been protecting yourself, but the Nine of Wands is a horrible looking card. Sorry, guys. But the Nine of Wands, do I see that I never hear, is really the Wounded Warrior. Feeling really like I got to defend myself because I've been hurt in the past. You know, sometimes the way when the way you look at things, you know, if you keep on doing the same thing over and over, you get the same results. So I think you're going to be seeing things in a new way. You're going to unblock your heart with the nine of wands in reverse. I didn't want to take it in reverse, any cards in reverse. And with the moon on the bottom, you know, you are very connected to the moon. Your intuition is keen. You're going to see that the illusions and, some, you know, that your intuition is right. Listen. Go ask for all the advice you want. Get all the readings. But when it comes down to it, my high priestesses, my high priest, you know what to do. You do. Page of Swords under the Ace of Swords. I love that. Look at her. She's not putting up with nothing. She knows who she is, even though she's a page and she's learning and she's growing, but she's spying. Let go of the gossip. Don't gossip. But, you know, I mean, if somebody says something that is, you know, isn't correct or isn't right, you can, you know, we're all human. You can just say, hey, I don't think that that was a, you said that very nicely. I had to do that with my girlfriend's husband. I had to call him up and say, look, I appreciate everything you did for me, but when I'm discussing life circumstances and situations while you're sitting in your mansion, you know, can you have a little empathy uh, about my journey and maybe pay attention and listen a little bit? But I appreciate all the things you do for me. So sometimes I can be that way as a Scorpio with the Pisces moon. But I think you're going to stand up and speak your truth. Oh my God, temperance on the bottom. I love this card been feeling it. This is the month of August. It's the number 14. If you see 411, you know, any of that combination, it's all about listening to your intuition and knowing your angels have your back. Have one foot in the spiritual world. 
and one foot in the real world. It's tempering the fire and water to bring this beautiful relationship about, right? How do you make that sword? You take the metal and you forge it in fire and then you put it in the water. You cool it and you heat it. You cool it and you heat it. Somebody has, needs to temper maybe their way of communicating or look at men are from Mars, women are from Venus. We are different. Can you embrace the differences, okay? And still have love. Angels and guides, I just need one more and we're gonna get to the romance angels. How this person is seeing and feeling about you. Eight of Pentacles, work. Yes, relationships take work. She's like, oh my God, <laughs> pulling out her hair to, uh, well, okay. It's a weird picture. She's at a grill with her lingerie pulling out her hair. <laughs> okay. Nine of Cups. Yay. Contentment, satisfaction, happy, wishes fulfilled. Imagine, I was just talking to, um, who was I talking to? Leo about Leonardo da Vinci and how he used all of his senses and how he thought he really put the importance on sight, sound, smell, you know, to create something new. Would you enjoy and appreciate the food that you eat? Enjoy and appreciate the sights and sounds that you see. It's going to bring in a lot of new creativity for you, I feel. All right, Pisces? Because the fool is on the bottom. Step into the unknown. Adventure, new beginnings, free spirit, naive. Leap of faith, spontaneity, right? Get out of the regret. What, is you, what do people regret on their deathbed? Not taking the leap of faith and going for it. I'm not saying you have to perish, glide or parachute, but you know, do your due diligence as a knight a page of swords would. Okay, let's see. I want you to think about the person that you're thinking about. All right, you can't do think about two. You want a private reading? Just email me, mysticwisdomtarotgmail.com. I do private videos for $24 and $44. This person, forgiven. Ooh, and seduced. I feel you don't want to be alone anymore. And you may need to forgive someone for something they did. Um, because there's a lot of hot passion here between you two. Tell me about the person that Pisces is thinking about. How do they feel about them? Spirit guides and angels. For the collective Piscean. How does their person feel about them? There's separation right now could be over that conversation or some hostilities or this person is just far away from you angels and guides how does this person feel about pisces they want to come and celebrate with you they want to watch the sunset with you look at that celebration coming together two of cups soulmate one more unstable reverse so somebody's coming out of hurt and being unstable <laughs> obsessed <laughs> but there's so much chemistry oh my god so a lot of people at the, with this aquarian energy are feeling pretty pretty crazy right now i have to tell you be mine flirt you guys have fun somebody is interested in you you may be in separation they may be ghosting you they're coming out of feeling unstable uh, trying to get a handle on things with the, the temperance card there. Oh, that's so funny. Look at my little nine of pentacles came out of my baby tarot. Um, yeah, focus on your talents and abilities. I feel talking about Leonardo da Vinci is saying, listen to the birds, look at nature and enjoy your five senses of passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy, my beautiful ones. Someone does want to have a new beginning with you. Uh, forgive and move forward. We all do foolish things. 
So this looks good, guys. I send you all my love and light whenever you watch my videos, of course. When you hear my voice and see my crystals, they were charged in the full moon. Please like and subscribe. Namaste. Ciao, bella.